Hello everyone, I'm Judy from Killer View. It's great to see you again. In my last video, I explained the P3 in details and we have got incredible feedback. Since the delivery of the P3, it has attracted a lot of attention. Now, I'm very excited to announce that the P3 Mini is also available for shipping. So today, I'm going to dive deep to introduce our latest the most cost-effective and compact P3 Mini, a 4G wireless bone encoder for you. As we all know, the P3 is a 4K 5G bone encoder with modularized design. And for the P3 Mini, uh, from the name you will know is the mini version of the P3. So we can call it the little brother of the P3. But the P3 Mini is not just a light version of the P3, it's also an ultimate solution for your live streaming. In general, the P3 Mini is also a dual input 4G bonding encoder with both SDI and HDMI inputs, up to 1080p uh, 60 resolution, H.265 supported, with up to 5 channels network bonding including uh, three channels of the internal 4G modems plus Wi-Fi and Ethernet. And also with a built-in 4900 mAh battery and also PD fast charge. The P3 Mini is very suitable for all kinds of outdoor live streaming continuously. With the self-deployable KiloLink Server Pro, the P3 Mini supports full protocol streaming for unlimited devices and streams. So the P3 Mini is your easiest way to start a professional streaming anytime, anywhere. Then let's take a look of the P3 Mini and see what we have got here. First, let's talk about the interfaces. The P3 Mini has dual 3G SDI and HDMI inputs supporting up to 1080p 60 resolution, ensuring the high video quality. And also this gives you the flexibility to connect to a variety of the cameras, no matter it's just with a GoPro or with a professional broadcast camera. For the audio parts, the P3 Mini can support up to four channels of the audio, except the embedded audio from both the SDI or HDMI. It also has a 3.5 millimeter audio interface, so it can support the analog audio line in as well giving you more flexibility for your professional streaming. The P3 Mini supports H.265 encoding, which means it can support higher image quality with the same bit rates, or it saves data if you just have the same image quality level. The P3 Mini has two USB ports, one from this side and the other one uh, at the other side. It can easily support additional functions like the PVZ control, the USB recording, uh, USB headset for intercom functions if you connect with KiloView KS systems. Then let's move on to talk about the power supply. Power supply is always very important for an uh, outdoor bonding encoder. Considering of the compact size, the P3 Mini is only equipped with one battery, but Actually, the capacity is up to 4,900 mAh, which means uh, we can assure over four hours continuous streaming. And also the P3 Mini supports the wide range voltage from 9 to 20 volt DC. There's also a Type-C port for PD fast charge. So this makes the P3 Mini supports both the V-mount batteries as well as the USB power bank. These versatile options provide you the unlimited possibilities for continuous streaming. Then let's talk about the connectivity. The P3 Mini has three internal 4G modems, one Wi-Fi and one Ethernet. Altogether, five channels of the network. So you can directly insert up to three 4G SIM cards in it. One thing I would like to remind you is when you get the units and install the antennas, please note there is a special sign of the Wi-Fi antenna and make sure the Wi-Fi antenna will not be mixed with any of your 4G antennas. Again, you can see in such a compact device, how we can make sure of the signal not getting interfered by each other. 
So it's all because of our anti-interference technology that makes of the uh, connectivity very reliable. So no matter if you are running into an area with poor signal, the P3 Mini gives you the most stable connection possible. Then let's get back to the hardware buttons and indicators. Uh, you can see here there is a red button near the Ethernet port, which is just the power button. So you can press it to power on, or if you long press it, uh, it will power off the unit. And I have already turned it on. While turning on, you can also see there are quite a lot of the indicators showing the battery level, as well as the status for streaming, recording, and also the network connectivity. Also, you can see here, there is a small black button. It's designed for you to quickly start uh, the streaming when your settings are all done, which can easily uh, make your operation very simple. On top of the P3 Mini, there is a three inch LCD touchscreen. Like the P3, it can preview the video inputs for monitoring, while at the same time, it supports quick operation and the settings, including the functions of uh, video sources, uh, network settings, etc. On top of the display, you actually can see there is a status display area which shows the current network status, also the connection, the battery information, and then the preview video by default is a small window that you can tap on it and then you can turn to the full screen to monitor the video. And then there is a quick operation area to start and stop recording or streaming, quickly adjust the bit rates, etc. And also the bottom area for the video sources, you can quickly choose the input from either SDI or HDMI. You can choose H.264 or H.265 encoding. Uh, you can set the bit rate, the frame rate, the audio settings, etc. And for bonding settings, you can easily connect to the bonding server and select the available network. In the settings, you will also have the chance to configure the system, including the time, the date, the language, the screen saving, and also firmware updates. For network settings, all available network, including Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or 4G network, you can all configure it. And for recording settings, you will have the chance to select the recording files format and also all the different recording strategies. For advanced settings, you can also connect with the KS intercom server or rotate the screen or restart or shut down the device. This all makes your managing easier and it's more user-friendly than ever. So you can see the P3 Mini is a very compact unit. Then you probably will ask about the cooling mechanism. The P3 is equipped with a professional heat dissipation design with super quiet cooling fan. Same as the P3, uh, it will automatically detect the inside temperature and make sure the unit can keep working reliably and continuously. As it's very compact, then it's also very easy to mount the P3 Mini on top of the cameras. So we have designed both ways. You can either horizontally or vertically mount on top of your cameras, and you can easily decide which way to uh, mount to fits your different applications. As it's a bonding encoder, then the important part would always be the bonding parts. Actually, this is also the biggest advantage of using KiloView bonding products, as you can get unlimited value from the KiloLink Silver Pro. The P3 Mini is fully compatible with KiloLink Silver Pro, our free and self-hostable platform. With KiloLink Silver Pro, you can manage all your devices, including the P3 Mini and all other KiloView products from a centralized interface, not only just the device management, but also like the firmware upgrade and also status check. Well, at the same time, you can benefit from the advanced features like the bonding, dynamic load balance, uh, adaptive bit rate, customized uh, buffer settings, and also the encrypted transmission. The KiloLink Server Pro supports a wide range of the streaming protocols, including RTSP, RTMP, SRT, HLS, as well as NDIHX. 
So with NVIDIA HX, you can get the high image quality, low latency, and also a high compatibility with any of the popular third-party production software systems, making it the best choice for your remote production. And also for the receiving parts, uh, if you want to get it back to SDI or HDMI directly, you can use any of your decoders as we transmit the standard protocols video. And the best part is, it's all free at no additional cost. So you can either host the server locally with an on-premise server or a cloud-based server. What you just need it to do is to prepare a Docker environment based on the Linux operation system or any of the other operation systems. So this integration makes the P3 Mini an incredible cost-effective solution for any of the professional-grade live streaming. Also, the Kilolink server will not limit to you uh, with how many units or how many connections connected to the server or how many streams you want to stream at the same time. As long as your server configuration and also the bandwidth supports, you are free of streaming. Or uh, if you want to get the videos back to your OBVAN or your production center or any of the professional applications, then also getting our latest announced ARF02, the Cradle series with a decoding card, you can automatically get a receiving server as well. So after talking about all those details, are you ready to stream? Then let me show you how easy it is to start a stream. Before we get into the real operation, let's put three 4G SIM cards into the P3 Mini. Also, let's connect the P3 Mini with the pre-deployed free Kilolink Server Pro on the local server. You can also deploy it on the cloud, of course. And then let's first register the P3 Mini with the server. You can get the password and fill in the server IP address, the ports, the password codes, and all the details uh, in the P3 Mini. Configure the bonding network, and then it's done. If you want to start a stream, the easiest way would be either you go access the P3 Mini web UI or go through the Killing Server Pro. It will also direct you to the UI of the P3 Mini and then you can simply add a stream. As we support all different kinds of the protocols, here I will take streaming to YouTube as an example. So after inserting the streaming address get from the YouTube platform, then you can just start the stream easily. Further, if you don't want to change any of the settings and you can just simply uh, start or stop it through the touch screen or the black button. And of course, you can set your detailed parameters like your buffer time, um, and also change any of the settings with the touch screen as well. So that's quite easy, right? If you are also very excited about the P3 Mini, please don't be hesitant. Get one on your hand and experience it by yourself. You will be amazed by this small compact device. So that's all for today. And thank you for joining me. I will see you in my next video. Bye.